How's it going YouTube? Today we're back with a brand new video. Um, so today's video is going to be a slightly different one. We're going to be doing a product review um, and it's a, it's a little bit different from the other ones. The product that we're reviewing is the the Urbar double, double beveled sledding meter saw. Um, so I have bought this saw for doing um, media walls stuff like that there so um, yeah there's going to be three sections of this video so the first section is going to be the product uh, specification the second is going to be price um, and then I'm going to compare to other saw similar saws and then I'm going to give it like a final overview of my thoughts, all that sort of stuff. So, as I said, I bought this saw for doing uh, media walls and also um, some work in my own house. Um, I recently converted my loft and used this saw basically for all the cutting. Um, I done, I done the architrave, uh, skirting boards, uh, laminate floor sort of everything um so it'll give us a solid run um and like all the other uh air bar tools i 100 percent recommend them um they're they're honestly a, a solid really good tool um this this saw it wasn't too expensive compared to some of the the other saws um, you'll see in the price breakdown, it's not that expensive um, and it's good. The blades are cheap um, and if you're doing sort of any sort of woodwork at all, um, yeah, it's it's a good saw to get basically. So up here, the first section is going to be uh, the, the product specification. So I'm just going to read down the list of the, um, the specs, everything you get, all that sort of stuff. Um, I got this from Screwfix, so this uh, data is lifted from the Screwfix website. So it's a double beveled sliding meter saw with 48 tooth blade. Um, it includes um, uh, includes meter saw, dust bag, clamp and wrench, uh, side mounted bevel control for quick and easy bevel adjustment, left or right. Um, the calm lock for fast and effective locking um clamping so it's 1800 watt max cross cutters 305 by 90 mil um trans cutting facility aluminum base hard start dust bag quick release clamp uh spindle lock and electric brake so the it does it, it um it's completely adjustable and you can cut on both sides so um you can cut you're not having to turn pieces of um wood and stuff you can you can cut um both ways yeah um and it's pretty sturdy um the laser it has a laser level um a laser marker and a, a work light which was really pretty handy um, and then it has a, a clamp that comes with it, which you basically screw down on a piece that you're cutting and it holds it tight, which is a really nice added benefit uh, for free. So the other specs here, it's from our bar, obviously. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave these up on the screen so you can have a little look. And here's the, the rest of it, so 4,500 RPM, double bevel. Um, it doesn't come with a case. Um, it's a 240 volt, and it's a meter saw, basically. So the next section is going to be price, um, and the sort of equivalent tools around the same price. So I'm actually going to show you, um, it's now the 30th of uh, June, and this is the price that it's on Screwfix. So currently it's £219.99. Um, 
it was 190 when I bought it a few a few months ago, so it has went up a little bit, but um, not that much. And realistically, for a saw of this quality, um, you're going to see here with the other prices, it's it's well worth it. Like it's reasonably priced at 200 and basically 220 pound. So um, the first saw we're going to put it up against is the the Bosch, as you can see here. Um, the cut's slightly bigger, but it's 700 quid. Which is mental. Um, the this meter saw from the Walt again seven hundred pound compared to two hundred, which is crazy. And then obviously the fast tool, which is fifteen hundred pound. You know, not comparable to this saw, but still the price is is crazy. So I'm just gonna sum it up now, um, and I'm gonna actually play you some video from the work that I recently done. Um, and I'm just going to speak over it and, and let's just have a look and see what, what the saw is like. So I would definitely recommend, oh, well you know anyway, all our bar tools. If you've watched any of my previous videos, I recommend them. They're, they're rock solid tools basically. Um, and price to performance, they're, they're unmatched in the market currently. Um, this saw might be overkill for some some people, but um, for me it was exactly what I needed. I'm not a hundred percent sure moving forward whether it would be something that I would use all the time. But currently, um, I have it in my fan and I'm using it for like sort of media walls and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not a woodworker, um, so. This saw I've done a lot of things that I probably shouldn't really have. Um, I cut a couple of the the rails by accident. Um, just missed, you know, just not really used to. It. And as you can see here, I'm cutting it on the table, but I have no legs um, to hold the wood. So, you know, but for me being a novice, it really, it really um, done the job it was supposed to, and massively helped me doing doing these jobs and the jobs in the future um if you want to support me have a look at my links in the description i have a patreon buy me coffee um and then you can become a member on the youtube channel where you get all these videos uh two weeks in advance um and one of the higher tiers you actually get an extra video so yeah if you want to support me you can head there um you can also check out my amazon affiliate links uh, the way the affiliate link works is you click on the link, um, you buy one of the tools that are there, I get a small percentage. If you don't buy the tool but go on to buy something else, I also get a percentage. It's a good way of support me without actually giving me money. And then <clears throat> most importantly, go and check out my social media. I have TikTok, uh, Instagram, Facebook, um, and of course, comment, like and subscribe. The more you comment and like, um, the more uh, YouTube's algorithm pushes the video. So um, if you're going to do anything, that would be what I would ask you to do is um, interact with the video. Yeah, um, Give me your thoughts if you like this video, um, but also if you have this tool and you, you want to give your input. As you can see here, I'm using this completely wrong of nothing to support the edge, but... <laughs> You know, I'm a plaster, not a woodworker at the end of the day, so you have to allow, allow a little bit for that. I know the, the joiners in the description will be going mental. Um, the last video I posted was me laying laminar floor, and then the next one after this video is going to be me uh, doing architecture and skirting, so I'm sure I'm going to get some slabbering from the joiners. Yeah, but that's it. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.